Chapter 6. Busted. The next day, an announcement came over the loudspeakers. George Spear and Harold Hutchins, please report to Principal Crump's office at once. Uh-oh, said Harold. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry, said George. They can't prove anything. George and Harold enter Mr. Crump's, Principal Crump's office and sat down on the chairs in front of his desk. The two, bo the two boys been together in this office before. But this time it was different. Was different. Mr. Crump was smiling. As long as George and Harold had known, Mr. Crump, they have never, ever seen him smile. Mr. Crump knew something. I didn't see you boys at the big game yesterday, said Mr. Crump. Uh, no, said George. We weren't feeling well. Y yeah, yeah, Harold stammered nervously. We, we, we went home. Oh, that's too bad said Principal Crump. You boys missed a good game. George and Harold quickly glanced at each other, gulped, and tried hard not to look guilty. Lucky for you, I have a videotape of the whole thing, Mr. Crump said. He turned on the television on the corner and pressed the play button on the VCR. A black and white image of Image to appear with the t on the TV screen. It was an overhead shot of George and Harold sprinkling pepper into the cheerleaders' pom poms. Next came a shot of George and Harold pouring liquid bubble bath into the into the marching band's instruments. How do you like the free game show? Asked Mr. Crump with a devilish grin. George eyed the television in terror. He couldn't answer. Harold's eyes were glued to the floor. He couldn't look. The tape went on and on, revealing all of George and Harold's behind-the-scenes antics. By now, both boys were eyeing on the floor, scramming nervously and dripping with sweat. Mr. Crump turned off the TV. You know, he said, ever since you boys been to the school, it's been one prank after another. First, you put the dissected frogs into the jungle salad in the parent-teacher banquet. Then you made it snow in the cafeteria. Then you rigged all the air cons, so we played weird all Yankee songs full blast for six hours. For six hours straight! For four long years, you two have run a muck in this school, and I never remember anything until now. Mr. Crump held the videotape in his hand. I took the liberty of, of installing tiny video surveillance cameras all around the school. I knew I'd catch you, catch you two in the act one day. I just didn't know it would be so easy.